Okay, this is just a quick video to help you get the uh, Clawbot uh, motors and sensors set up so you're ready to run the, the challenges. And when you notice uh, the V5 code uh, programming looks similar to VR, but there are some differences. The main difference is in VR, there's a preset robot that has just the right controls to establish. But for our V5 Clawbot code, we need to go in and set up our motor sensor, which gets the drive signals from the robot. So to do that up in the top right corner, there's a little motor icon. This is different. It motor icon is more like the VR code. So when we open that icon, you'll see add device. Under add device are all the different uh, options you have to set up your robot. Uh, for this Clawbot build, we're going to just stick with the drive train 2 motor, although it would be possible to set up an individual left and an individual right motor if you wanted to have greater control. Uh, two motor drive train. And the left motor, if it's built correctly, should be in port one. So go ahead and just click on the number one port. And then it toggles to the right motor. And we have the right motor in port 10. For our uh, next option, we're going to just, uh, we don't have any sensor or gyro uh, established. So you can just click done. Okay, so the drivetrain's uh, initially set. Now you'll notice that the drivetrain um, option window is over here. Now we have drive forward, turn, stop, set the velocity, and everything. Uh, additionally, on the drivetrain, if you do want the drivetrain to behave correctly, um, you go back in and you do need to set the, the wheel size. We are using the four inch wheel. Uh, you'll have to verify the track width and wheelbase. If you click on the little help, it uh, tells you the track width is going to be the center to center distance um, from the left to the right side. And you can set that to inches. I believe it is something pretty close to 12 inches. Uh, the wheelbase, again, is the center to center on one side. And our wheelbase is quite a bit more than 1.57. I think it's about six and a half inches. You need to verify those two dimensions. Uh, the gear ratio is one to one. We are using the green cartridge. So all that's ready. And so now your drivetrain's complete. The other two sensors you need are the uh, three wire sensors that we are using the bump and the rangefinder. So on this, device setup, uh, select the three wire icon triangle and click on the bumper and you're going to see what port and uh, I suggest port A for the bumper. And now you'll see on the sensing uh, section, you'll see uh, bumper sensing is now available. And the last one we're using for these challenges also, a three wire is the rangefinder or something called the ultrasonic distance. And it has two different cords. The um, output, it says, needs to be first. The output's labeled on the uh, top of the rangefinder. It's also the one with the orange cord. And since we're already using port A, both A and B are blocked out. So we'll go ahead and use port C. And it selects both C and D as a pair. So the orange cord is in C, the one with the yellow um, wire is in D. All right, so now your, uh, your clawbot is set up for uh, driving and to do the challenges and essentially ready to program. Uh, if you do want to add in the claw motors and the arm motors, you have to come into the motor setup. Um, and I'm not sure which port. So let's say the um, arm is in port two. And you might want to change the name from motor two um, to uh, arm motor. Uh, typically, you, you can change the directions, normal or reversed. Um, so 
it typically is clockwise or counterclockwise, so you have to decide um, if clockwise is going to lift or lower the arm. So you may have to change that setting here. So I'll leave it as normal for now until we, we test it. And you'd do the same thing to add the claw motor. And verify what port those are in. And then back into motion. Now we have a motion tab uh, as well. And we can set um, spin either one of the arm or the claw motor forward or reverse to open and close or lift the arm. Also have options for the green, just like you did um, in the VR code program. Okay, so that's basically the setup for the claw box. Good luck.